Sarah Miller from the Gertis team of Long and Foster Real Estate here to give you some great tips for once you've purchased your home and you've got your contract accept accepted and you are waiting for that settlement date. Um, there are some important things that your lender will tell you uh, to make sure that you do. And the first one is don't make any big purchases. Um, I know you want that couch that's going to go great in that room, but do not put that on your credit card. It will show up and mess you up at settlement. Um, no new appliances, no carpets, no... Um, now, if you're paying cash, that's different, but nothing on your credit report because your credit will get pulled for that and it could affect your credit score when they rerun it. By the way, did you know that they rerun it right before you settle to make sure that um, that it's the same as when they approved your loan. So anyway, that's really important. Also in terms of cash, don't open any new bank accounts. Don't um, make any large purchases. Don't transfer funds from bank account to bank account um, because they're trying to track everything. If you're getting a gift, make sure you discuss the details of that gift and how you're gonna handle it with your lender so that you do it exactly the way it needs to be done. So these are some really important tips that will help you have your settlement go nice and smooth. Look forward to seeing you again. Once again, if you know anyone who is interested in buying or selling a home, give me a call and let me be the one to help.